runaway train in the mid uh, 1950s launched a nuclear program. There's a derailed locomotive 180 degrees from the direction it's traveling. Okay, um, uh, in 1968, um, okay, it was traveling approximately three and a half miles. It failed the brake and uh, continued down the track. And the brakeman looked outside the wheel and saw sparks instead of slowing down. It didn't gain speed. And uh, it looks like careful examination of the runaway train rule found that all four wheels had flat spots on one side as a result of the braking. Approximately 200 feet. The track is required to, uh, replacing. <laughs> so it concluded that the accident was caused by too great a load of the locomotive. So this locomotive. Um, so this is an L2, 25 tons, it's 150 horsepower, and it was built in 1943, and there's the test site in the 1670s, um, it was also, uh, so there you go, look at that, Energy uh, Research Development and Administration USA, and look at that, so this thing jumped the tracks at one point. And uh, look at that. This beautiful piece of equipment. Just very, very awesome. Okay, that is really cool. I'm going to go back to the other side here. See that? That's kind of an extra rip in the middle. Look at this. Can you see it there? You don't ever see these. Now here's the plate. 43. There's your uh, serial number, 18134. Made by General Electric. And it's B5050 IGE 733. That is so cool. So it's the runaway train in the mid 50s. So, um, and when was that accident? Okay, March 8, 1968. Okay, so this thing was an accident.